Um, I didn't upload anything yesterday, but I'll upload it today. Look at a beautiful sky. So pretty. And we're getting a little bit of the red now and the foliage change for the beautiful fall in New England. Um, all right, well, without further ado, the topic is the burden of proof. I just very simply want to put it out there as that if someone is making a claim that seems far-fetched from the accepted reality or just from reality itself, uh, it's on that person to come up with uh, proof, you know, proof of whatever they're claiming that it is. So like, for example, someone sees uh, something on the woods and it says, like, I saw Bigfoot. And then you're like, all right, uh, no one else has seen that. But uh, I know that a lot of people believe in it, but like, I don't know how... How, how am I just supposed to believe you because you know you have to show me something that anyhow so the burden of proof is on whoever makes a big claim you know and not on the person that is like I don't I don't I don't want to believe it or like I don't I don't think so or whatever right um, Another example is if someone is trying to like sell you a bar of gold and instead of uh, instead of like showing you the gold they show you this packaging where all these bars of gold are packaged in and um, trying to give you a, a deal because you know it's you and the friend and whatever or not the friend, but like it's someone trying to like, you know, make you feel somewhat special and that's why you're getting that deal. But you're like, I want to see the actual bar of gold. I'm like, oh, but you know, like we I just can't open it because if I open it, then I'm not sure if you're going to buy it or blah, blah, blah. And then I can return it or a lot of that. But here it's heavy, just like a bar of gold. And it's the same packaging that a bar of gold comes in and whatever. Well, there are a bunch of things that may be in common with gold, but it doesn't mean that it's gold, you know? So like it's weight or the packaging. And it may be heavy, but what if like it's just a rock in there or a piece of metal or whatever, a piece of lead. Um, so it's far-fetched that someone's going to be trying to like sell you a piece of gold for less money than it's worth. Therefore, you know, it is on them the burden, the burden of proof. They have to come up with a good explanation of, or show you proof of it. Um, so when we come to the point of reasoning and, you know, uh, abstract ideas like uh, deities and the theology and uh, superstitions and mythology and there are these fantastic claims about these impossible beings that at some point people were very into and they built and erected temples for them sacrificed human beings to them it must have been very real and uh, for them at that point but like now they were like what are you talking about what is what is that called what is that deity called? Like, what are you talking about? Right, so if someone claims, like, no, it actually is there, you'll be like, okay, but how do you prove me that Zeus and all of the gods of the Olympus are actually there? You would just not believe it. Right? You would just be like, okay, so you are not crazy, then I. I would ask you for some sort of proof. So I don't think you're crazy. Um, well, we don't do that when something is commonly accepted. And 
to that, we have to remember that we are very susceptible to something that Carl Jung called mass psychosis and that I call just human nature and delusion is part of human nature. So people may have superstitions, you know, and uh, they, they may have a value on how they help a society operate uh, within certain norms for everyone to follow a specific behavior pattern without having to explain to everyone exactly why is that that's expected from them. So there is a value, I guess, to it, you know. It's bad luck to go under a ladder and most likely the explanation is that some shit's gonna fall on your head or you're gonna move the ladder and then whoever was using it's gonna come up there and not expect it to be moved out of the way and then they're gonna have an accident. Uh, so yeah, it, that's all what I wanted to talk about a little bit today, just the burden of proof. It's just, you know, where, where is it, right? In my opinion, as nobody, just a construction worker, a carpenter. It's never been a carpenter that has been important to anyone. So my opinion is the burden of proof is on the person that makes the fantastic claim, that makes the far-fetched from reality claim. And that's where it's at. So it's one of my filters. Hope I didn't go too far and have a good one.